Yo, welcome to Wiz Loves Cars, and this is the 2021 Jeep Gladiator Willys. Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to Wiz Loves Cars. Today, we're going to be talking about the Jeep Gladiator Willys Edition, and I'm just say this: I'm not a Jeep guy. And I've, I've never really been a Jeep guy. I don't really drive Jeeps. This is actually my first time driving this Gladiator. This is gonna be my first time reviewing a Gladiator. So I'm looking forward to it. I think it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a great experience for all of us involved. Also, if you're joining me for the first time, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button down below. Tune in, hit the bell as well to get those post notifications. And I just wanna say really quickly, I started this page a couple months ago and you know it's it's been doing well so far you know we got a bunch of new subscribers so welcome thank you for subscribing to the channel all the new folks so I think it was about 40 or 50 more folks that subscribed over the past um, couple weeks so really appreciate y'all for rocking with me and, and doing everything so far but let's go ahead and get into it so what do you get with this Willys edition so the Willys edition actually comes with this blacked out grill right so you have the halogen headlamps there you got the fog lights down below this black grill really 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 sets this willy off also you get the um the black tow hooks as well involved with this and you have like this black bumper as well so it's just basically all black and it looks really 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 nice um one thing that i really like about these jeeps as well is the fact that the jeep is pretty much the lego of the car industry you can do so many different things with this you can take the front part of the roof off take the back part of the roof off you can take the whole roof off you can take the doors off the front doors the back doors you got total uh, a whole bunch of wind blowing in at you wind blowing through your hair while you're riding around on a summer day you can take this anywhere this is the perfect car for off-roading one other thing that i think is really cool um i don't even know how to take it down but i'm just going to tell you about it anyway so if you can see on the hood, there are these two front bumpers, right? So they're literally right here. And what you can do is you can actually take this front windshield and you can fold it down and that will basically just nest comfortably on that. So I think that's pretty interesting. That's pretty cool. Again, I don't know how to do it and I may need to do an in-depth with a Jeep when I have it for some longer time, but I think that's pretty dope. Here on the side of the car, you have the Willys badging. You also have the trail rated badge right here that tells you that this car is fully equipped to do off-roading and it lets you know that up front, right? And then you also have the Jeep Gladiator badging as well. So you just kind of have all this Jeep greatness just going on in this car right here. You also have these heated side mirrors. They're on both sides, obviously. So, you know, in case those, those days get cold and the, the windows get frosty, you can always defrost those. Um, again, you have the rock rails down here as well. So perfect for off-roading. And then you have that coupled with the tires, coupled with the shocks that you get with this Willys Edition is really gonna set you up in a good way to take this off-road and do some damage. All right, so here at the back, you have the Jeep logo that looks really nice. So you have this Jeep badging. And then you also have this four wheel drive, which is the Willys badging. So this badging, again, is specific to the Willys and it really gives this car its own identity, which I really, really, really like. Now, one of the things that really attracted me to this Gladiator is the fact that it is Jeep's pickup truck. And I really like that. It looks much different than all the Jeeps, even though the construct is essentially still the same. So some people think this is stupid. I think it's pretty cool because, again, it gives it its own its own identity and it gives it a sense of individuality as a Jeep. Um, some other things that you're going to find here are the uh, backup cameras about right here. You also have uh, the tow hitch. So you have a tow package associated with this as well. I believe you have 6,500 pounds of towing capacity with this as well. And then you have the LED tail lights that kind of span across. So you have one here and you have the two on the sides that really also set this off and it really tells you that this is in fact a Jeep that you're driving. It's very distinctive. Now, if I were to open this tailgate, this tailgate is super, super, super light. And it's gonna be easier for someone to lift it and, and pull it down. Um, that may not be as strong or, or whatever the case is. So you don't have to worry about this as an owner of this vehicle, it's pretty great. Um, there's also a, a thousand pounds of low capacity back here that you can have. So you can fit a bunch of stuff back here. Uh, one other thing that is really good about this, I believe the owner of this vehicle opted in to get the spray in bed liner. So this is gonna help to reduce the risk of scratches and different things like that that you can encounter. 
or hauling things back here. So this is something good if you just don't want to worry about any of that stuff and keep the back of your truck looking clean and pristine. And also some other things that are in here. So you have some hooks here on the side for carrying things and transporting things. And then you also have these LED lights that are here on the side that you can actually toggle these on and off from the inside of the car. So um, just the, the bed lights. But other than that, it's a pretty good looking truck. All right, so we're on the interior of this Jeep Gladiator. And first things first, let's talk about a couple things. So the steering wheel is a nice leather wrap steering wheel. It has the Jeep badging on there, as expected. Uh, also, on the left-hand side here, you have the controls for the center stack, so you can control things like your off-road view, fuel economy. You just check out a bunch of different settings, so trip settings, tire pressure settings, all these different things are there. You have the Jeep vents. These are pretty cool. I like the way they kind of pop in and pop out. Um, additionally, with the Willys package, you also see a lot of the orange trim on the odometer so that's something that you're probably only going to get with the willies trim and then kind of going back over to the steering wheel you know you have the uh, standard volume controls that are actually on the back side of the steering wheel so if you want to turn the volume up or down you're going to do this on the back side of the steering wheel here and then if you want to change the song or skip ahead or whatever the case is you're going to do that on the left side of the steering wheel other than that everything else is pretty much standard uh moving on you have some push start capability right here and then you have the center stack controls or the infotainment control so you have a uh, seven inch infotainment screen that i'm looking at right now it's capable of connecting with android auto as well as apple carplay so that's going to be a really good thing for folks there's also some on-screen controls as well so you have your media controls your climate controls uh, you also have applications navigation that's also built in i think that's through you connect your phone settings and just you know control your map or, or whatever it is so you can do a lot of things on this screen so it's pretty good nice technology built into this jeep uh, additionally down here you have some of your standard controls so you have your heated seats your heated steering wheel and you have one thing i really like about this jeep is you see this research button it's not a car it's an actual jeep so i really like that jeep putting their funk on this and this is something that's really cool that i like there um, additionally you have some controls down here so you have your auto on and off you have your uh, traction control your parking uh, control you have as well as a screen off button you can turn on and off the screen i don't know why you would need to use that but some people use it whatever and then you also have your window controls here that are down below so the window controls are here because again it is a jeep so you can deconstruct this thing and take the doors off and and, and all that stuff so it's easier to kind of keep the controls here um, in the center stack for the Jeep. And then these controls are also synonymous with the back windows as well if you are sitting in the back of the car. Um, additionally, you have just some media inputs here. So you have a USB-C, you have a USB port, auxiliary port as well. And you know you have your gear shift, a couple cup holders down here is pretty cool. Um, and then you have a nice little key holder right here on the side that I think is really pretty cool. And then in here, you have some double-decker storage in the center console here. So you can put some change. I know you hear that change rattling around up in there. Got money, money. And then you have some, some bigger storage down there. Uh, you have this grab bar here that I really like. So this is going to be perfect when the doors are off. You got something to hold on to. Um, I call this the oh shit bar. And then you have another one here. They're pretty much all around the car. So that's really cool. On the doors, you don't really have much, so you just have the basic door handles, and then you have the lock, unlock buttons, um, and things like that, but it's nothing much going on over here on the doors, nothing much to talk about, and you also have these nice cloth seats. Now, I'm not usually a fan of cloth seats, but these cloth seats are super comfortable. I like these seats. Um, they really do this justice. They feel real nice when you're driving around and everything like that, so really like that. Lastly, uh, one of the things I'll talk about is the... Uh, roof so in the front part of the car you can actually take the roof off just by removing these latches and there's three of them here on each side and then you have the final one where you kind of just use that to pop the roof off right so you can see that start to move i'm not gonna mess with that right now <laughs> but you basically have that option as well to kind of take that off and you can do that on the the front side 
uh, passenger and you can do that on the front driver's side as well and you can kind of pop this off you don't need any tools for that but when you get to the back seat you are going to need some tools to take off the roof back there if you want that completely open look um, another thing that's really cool that's kind of embedded in here that you don't really get a chance to really see is you have this uh, roll cage that's here as well then you have the speakers that are also built into that so you don't have to worry about um, when the roof is off what the audio quality is going to sound like so it's going to sound really good in here and I think it's something that uh, anyone's going to enjoy if they actually have this car. All right, so we're going to go into the back seat and, and check it out back there. But after that, we're going to take it on the road. All right, so before we take this thing on the road, we're about to hop in the back seat, check it out real quick. Really not much to see here, but I just want to give you a visual representation of what it's like to sit in the back seat of this Willys Jeep. Now, there's not a ton of space back here, but you'll see when we get in. Uh, but before we get in real quick, um, again, not much going on with the door here, but there is some cargo net storage here on the side you're gonna find this on all four doors around this car but also one quick pro tip before getting in here you need to make sure you use some high knees i'm talking about high knees you gotta pick them knees up because if you don't pick them knees up you're not gonna make it in his willies oh <laughs> all right so i'm back here there's not a crazy amount of space but this is also just gonna be more so dependent on who's driving this car and how much space you're going to have back here so you know while you sit back here you're going to have this behind the seat storage you're going to have this uh window controls here in the back you're going to have a couple vents back here that you can also use as well and then there's also a actual uh plug here so you can you know plug a phone in or, or plug some things in back here that you want to charge and then there's just a couple cup holders here located on the ground again this is a rugged all-terrain vehicle so you're not going to find a bunch of different lcd displays and all those things back here and then lastly tucked away which is not super visual from where i'm sitting but there is some additional charging capacity back here so there's two usb-c ports as well as two usb ports as well too so if you need to charge you have those options but other than that nothing else to see here folks it's just the back seat Let's go. All right, so my initial thoughts on this are that you still kind of, it has that sway to it. And I don't know, really know how to best describe it, but if you know, you know. It goes more with how the off-roading is when it comes to just the overall, the, the way the shocks are set up and everything like that and the ability to absorb a lot of that you know those rocks or different types of terrain or if i guess if you're in an urban area speed bumps i don't feel speed bumps at all in this when i'm driving but overall i would say it's it's a comfortable ride i mean these seats really also help with the ride it feels like the seats are literally hugging me right now it feels really 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 good and these little bumps that are in the road i'm going over these right now and i can barely feel them steering wheel is very responsive you know you can change lanes really easily but i did this for this specific reason so i'm gonna go up didn't really feel that i'm gonna go down and i didn't really feel that this car literally adjusts and you can tell this is a good off-road car because it literally adjusts it's pretty dynamic in how it adjusts to the change in elevation and terrain and different things like that i think it's really good for that So this thing is not gonna really wow you when it comes to speed. Uh, it only has, uh, I think about uh, 285 horsepower, if I'm not mistaken. And so it's, it's not something that's gonna blow your socks off from a speed standpoint, but it is something that you can feel the power. It is responsive when you're, when you're pulling off, but you can tell that this is more geared towards that off-roading or towing or whatever the case is. But I would say that's that's probably going to be your, your primary use cases for this. But again, I think overall, this is a great vehicle and I would recommend it. One thing I kind of forgot to mention, but I'm going to mention it now. So if you put this in reverse, you have this backup camera, right? And it has the, the lines here to kind of keep you straight and you can kind of figure out where you need to go. But 
it also has this component to it where you can zoom in and i'm going to show you that really quickly as i back up towards something because i think it's going to do it more justice so i'm going to go ahead and press this zoom in button and it's going to take you to an enhanced view and this view is literally right below your tailgate so i'm going to back this up now and you're going to see i'll start to get the beeps and the beeps and the beeps and then i can get really 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 close to whatever it is i'm trying to back up to or back up again so if you're at home a garage or you're backing up on a hillside or something like that and you don't have great visibility you can have this visibility and kind of see below you so you can see how close i am to this uh, bush back here and i was able to do so and get so close just because i could also zoom in and see what was going on back there so i think that's pretty dope all right so we just got done driving and I wanna give everybody my final thoughts on what I think about this Jeep Gladiator Willys. So I really like the Willys. I would definitely own one of these cars if you know I had the space for it, I definitely would. Uh, it is a great off-roading vehicle. I think it's also a great vehicle for driving, but I just don't think it's conducive to everyday use given the gas mileage. It's very comfortable. You can drive over a lot of things. I can only imagine driving over snow banks and curbs and patches of grass and rocks and all these different things. So it's fully equipped to do that. And that's why it has that trail rated badge. So really appreciate all the craftsmanship that went into this vehicle to have it be one of these nice trail rated Jeeps. And then it also has a nice aesthetic to it. It has a really good grill in the front that I mentioned before. This Willys grill really sets it off and it will go well with any uh, colorway that is going to be introduced for any of these cars so really nothing bad to say the only thing that i'll probably ding this car on is the fact that there's not a ton of space in the back seat for you for passengers but then again you know it just really depends on how tall or how short the person is whether sitting in the back or the person that's driving so that's just really debatable other than that i don't really have anything bad to say about this car i just i really enjoy driving it today I really enjoyed reviewing it. I think it has a lot of cool features that are more so Jeep centric. So just with that, I'm just kind of giving Jeep its grace and then just taking it for what it is, knowing that it, it is a Jeep. Um, the only other thing that I will mention is that when you're, when you're driving on the highway or you're driving at higher speeds, you get a lot of cabin noise. And I think that might be something that is gonna be there anyway, just because the Jeeps aren't so insulated. I believe that there's some add-ons that you can do to insulate it to reduce the amount of cabin noise that you have. But in this particular Jeep, we did have some cabin noise, but all in all, I would say everything was good. So again, thanks for watching today. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking the video. See you next time.